they talk about? Um, pressure on the quarterback and getting to the running back, getting past the line of scrimmage. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Two games without giving out a touchdown. Yeah. Um, just stick to what we know. Just get to the quarterback, and then we trust in our DBs to protect us behind. As long as we get to uh, pressure to the quarterback, then we know that um, our DBs can make plays in the backfield. It ended up not being a close game. Yeah. I was kind of expecting slightly, you know, fairly close game. Yeah. But I mean, um, what can we say? Like we. We knew we were underdogs coming into this game, but we didn't let that affect us at all. So we just trying to prove people wrong. Hey, we got to Thank you. How would you kind of describe those two as a tandem? I mean, it's not really like a thunder and lightning thing like you see with some teams. I mean, but how do you kind of put the two of them together? They're, they're, like you said, they're two great running backs. And, you know, whenever we need speed and quickness, we got, uh, we got Simao, and whenever we need that power and long run, we got Brandon. You know, so we have, we have a lot to look forward to. Yeah, yeah. Right on, man. Appreciate it. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Yeah. Brand new coach, brand new system. But he says the reason why you're running so well is just O-line and running was playing really well. O-line, QB, leading us in the right directions, good coaches. Everything. We just gotta keep going and just keep our minds right. And we should be able. How does it How does it work where you guys get so many creases inside? You know, the inside was there, and when it wasn't, you bounced it out, right? Yeah. How does that work? You just vision. You just gotta see it. You gotta trust your guys up front. And when it closes, you know, oh, now you gotta just bounce it out and just believe in the wide receivers who's out there working hard too, blocking for us. It's, it's a team effort. It's all of us out here. The, in, the inside, I didn't know you guys were going to get that many open runs inside on Franklin. It's our goal line. They're bangers and they just come up firing and they just open holes. No matter how big, how small, they just take on anything. They're they're the best linemen ever. So the starting O line from left to right, who, who are the starters? Uh, left is Lucas Beto and starts with Joshua and Chetta. And center is Kayvi Chung. And right guard is Tyler Burkhart. And right tackle is... Uh, Rats and Jank. Kaibi is kind of famous. Kaibi. Yeah, he's known he's, for his skills. He's bad. Does he talk to you guys during the game? Yes. What does he, he say? He's focus. He keeps, he's, what does he say? I think he just says, says, oh, you carry you guys, just follow us. Sometimes he's quiet and he just shows it on the field to the other team. Mm. He's, he's like unpredictable. Like he, He's just serious. He's all game. And then uh, describe what happened on the punt return. Uh, I just looked up and then I saw two guys and I, when I went right, I was, saw the guy overcommit and I just spin back and just went down the sidelines and believed in the wall and they made it for me and then I just breaked out. Oh, short again! The, the spin move, that was partly out of survival. Yeah, that was just instinct. That was just like, I saw him overcommit in front of me, so I just backed up and spin and then went back. Because it was designed to be a block, and I didn't have anyone there yelling for me, poison, but I had a good feeling that I could take it back. Right, good job, man. Thank you. Put it right there. We were in the same boat, finished strong. Just continue to fight through wins or losses. Just continue to work. Just believe this. Our new season starts. These two games don't count. So now we start our league play. Now we get to play for attention and seating. So you know, just get more serious. And just continue to play for the yeah. Awesome, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Good to All see right, you. Yeah, yeah, same here. Fernando, real What's quick. Uh, what were the pluses? What were the pluses? What were the pluses? Oh, well, we kicked a nice field goal. I thought, you know, the kicking game was good. Uh, we got three points in. Um, that's always a plus. The kids, the kids fought all the way. Um, you know, They're learning on the job. Like, Manly, correct. Correct. he's a safety normally. Now he has to learn. Like, at the end, he's committing. Correct. But it must be hard to learn on the job against Wai'anae, Kamehameha. Yes. 
So yeah, and he's behind because of um, his knee injury. So you know he's not the same manly as before, but he'll get there. I mean, you know, he's gotta. It's gonna take time. You know, you cannot replace the whole summer of missing conditioning, or, you know, speed and quickness drills. It's, it's gonna be hard to replace them. And so yeah, and then losing eight guys. I mean, that potentially are starters doesn't help as well. They should be back. Thoughts on, on what Noah was able to do here this time out tonight and the performance he had? Oh, you know, he, he's, he's making strides every day, you know, and um, I tell him he, he's kind of like the stock market, you know, it goes up and down, but, it's, you know, at least now it's trending up. Yeah. But, we you know, hope at least. Yeah, but, you know, it's up and down, you know, every day, but, you know, the trend is up, he's getting better every day, you know, he takes, you know, some days are better than others, and you can tell he's a super athlete, he's really competitive, and he's a lot better in games than he is at practice sometimes, and that's just the competitive juices come out. Yeah. All right, Coach, appreciate it. Yes, Thanks sir. a lot. Uh -huh. nice. The difference between last week and this week uh, compared to when you first came in, and you well, only had a few weeks, right? Yeah, you know, we're only like in our ninth week of trying to do this, and, um, you know, we're, we're behind offensively, and the weather last week hurt us, but yeah. even, even besides, the weather wasn't the only problem, you know, we didn't execute very well. Uh, we had a good week of practice, and we executed better tonight. We still have a long way to go. You know, a lot of our in our past game is a lot of it's timing throws, and we're not there yet. It takes time, yeah. but we're making progress. So it's going to be kind of like, like you said, right? It's going to be a lull for a while, then big improvement, then yeah, plateau. Yeah, you know, it's going to be up and down, but I think we're trending up. We, we've been improving every week, you know, and you know we take a couple steps forward, sometimes a step back the next day. But uh, you know, the, the guys are working hard, applying themselves, and uh, you know, the good thing is, um, you know. We still got another game before we get in the league. Yeah. Try to clean some stuff up and you know we'll see what happens. Tonight was mostly pluses. Yeah, mostly we got some stuff to clean up. Way too many penalties. Um, you know, and some of our throws were a little late. We didn't catch the ball very well. Yeah. So we got work to do. The running game. Running game was good. How much of that is your stuff or it versus Dallas Cowboy? I have to nah, ask. you know what? I have to ask. Most of it, I mean, the scheme. It was a combination of what we did in Dallas and what Bill Walsh did. Why we run the ball so well was our old line and our running backs and uh, the, the old line coaches. It's not really, we could run any run scheme really. Those guys run block, they block, they play really well. So, so the younger one, 22, he, he explodes. Oh yeah. Right, right between tackles, he explodes. Yeah. Yeah. Brandon knows he's good. He, unfortunately, he's a senior. Oh. We had him a little longer, but yeah, he's, he's a really good player. And then Simao, he's a tiny little guy, but he's acceleration. A beast. He's a beast too, yeah, he can go. He's tough. He's so, tough he, so he cramped up. Should yeah, be all right. Cramping up, yep. Uh, defensively, what are the pluses there? Oh, uh, just our whole defense. You know, the front four is great, the linebackers, I mean, the secondary, the scheme, the coach really well. Byron's a really good coach. Um, those guys do a great job over there. The gang tackle was consistent. Yeah, they fly around, they do really well. You know, we play great defense, and that's how you win championships. You got to play defense to win you know, big games, and uh, we got that part down. We just got to keep getting better on offense. How do you feel? I'm tired. <laughs> it's nice to win, but I'm tired. All right. Thanks, Coach. Okay, thanks. Thank you.